Hey there everyone, this is Infinity. It is October 27th, 2019 and it is 12.07 in the Pacific. Just so happens to be when I was guided to finally get to this place in time to do this meditation. So I know yesterday I said I was going to be doing that in a little bit and, and it just didn't uh, happen and just the whole rest of the day was a lot of um, energies coming through uh, and uh, I was way more tired than I thought I was going to be and I needed a lot more rest and there was a lot of energy transmutation going on in the collective and for the collective and I had to do a lot of just uh, private meditation and resting and uh, and then I was just I kept waiting for that for that push to do to get there yes yesterday evening uh, and it just didn't happen and I was just very tired and I was just told finally I was like is this am I just gonna not do this today because I thought I was and my guides said no you're not going to do this today you're going to do this later so you can just relax it's not meant to be done today and I was surprised at that and I guess it was just more me wanting to do it yesterday so it could be done ahead of time and early for all of you but uh, most of the time these meditations are done on the day of um, so again uh, it's just funny that we're here on on 1027 the new moon and I start recording right at 1207 um, this kind of thing has been happening a lot there's been a lot of synchronicities with numbers right when I'm doing things um, starting things ending things uh, going into a new room like just all sorts of just very much rhythmic kind of movement throughout my my day um, and more communication with other divine beings than I've had in the past uh, getting the information about the Alpha Centauri and finally they've quieted down since I did that video. If you have not watched that video and you're interested in who the Alpha Centauri uh, star seeds are, please take a look at that video. Um, lots of interesting information came through about these star seeds that most people do not know of and they've just been very um, it's been kind of a dormant situation with the Alpha Centauri until now for those who are in alignment with coming into that awareness and I have a feeling that talk about the Alpha Centauri is going to increase um, and it'll be a, a more known thing I talk a lot about about I talk about a lot of very unique things be, and then I, I assume and I know that people will go elsewhere and kind of look for, for some of the stuff that we just either I say or the information that comes through and to us. And there really isn't sometimes a whole lot of information to the stuff that I talk about and I teach and, and, and whatever. And so people have to make this distinction like well nobody else knows or talks about this so well <laughs> that could tell you a lot right there right um 
and then just kind of watch how things go over time. I mean, nobody was talking about dragons when I started talking about dragons a year ago. Nobody. And then, boom, dragon talk everywhere. Um, which is kind of how that goes. Uh, and when I say nobody was talking about dragons, what I mean is, is that it wasn't a thing in the spiritual community like it is now. And I even had somebody from one of the, well, I'll even say it. I had Dawn from, the, <laughs> I don't have anything to hide. I had Dawn from the higher self portal when I approached her about showing my videos about dragons and stuff she was like people laugh at you she's like nobody's gonna believe that there's dragons people laugh you you'll be a laughing stock is what she told me and I was like wow okay interesting and then I told her I was like look I'm I'm incarnated Archangel Gabriel and there really is dragons look at the pictures and I told her a whole bunch of stuff and she just, she never even got back to me. But then within a couple of weeks, she's posting stuff from other people about dragons. I was like, are you shitting me? <laughs> Hilarious. Um, but whatever. It's just one of the ways that, um, <laughs> things like that go. Um, and so what's important for you is to not try to seek so much validation from outside. <laughs> if I've had any uh, type of lesson and also a lesson in patience, it would be to understand that there's not always going to be places you can go on the internet or people you can talk to who's going to validate what you know or what you believe or what you know to believe, what, however you want to put it. You know, what you either know from the inside out or you hear and you go, yeah, I totally am in line with that. I totally believe that. And yeah, you can't always, you know, fact check everything other than with yourself. And that becomes a lesson in patience and faith and trust in your own self, your you don't doubt yourself that you believe and you allow for the unfoldment of the answers to come that you want the answers to come you're open to the answers to come but there's certain things that you just when you hear it you know either truth or false or you know it's bullshit or it's real and there's people who don't check in with themselves. They don't, they don't have a close enough connection with their soul for that, for, to, for there to be a compass. So it's just this massive confusion. And people handle that differently. Um, so anyway, <laughs> Uh, I just want people to, as we go through this, these next few portals, um, and when I say these next few portals, I mean, we have the, the 31st to the first is the next one after this new moon on the 27th. And it is 12.17 right now. Um, <laughs> it's 
so that's the next one the, the 31st to the first so we always have a, a portal a stargate ending a month and jumping to the new month so turning the page starting a new book or a new chapter however which way you want to look at it entering a new layer or level in your timeline in our collective timeline a different branch in the tree of life in the timeline in the matrix whatever <laughs> So it is everything, I mean, we have labels for stuff so we can, we have identifiers. I've talked about this before. It's like the same reason why I have the identifier as Gabriel for people to identify that signature. Um, Because as more people come online, they're going to remember me as I remember them in past lives. So it's important for me to identify myself so other people can understand that when they get there. If I don't do that, then we'll never get there. And that's just one reason. But it's also understand how we, it's just how we identify with each other. There's going to be more people really coming into more awarenesses of kind of what that higher soul aspect is and really who's driving the ship from the captain down as far as our soul stories and missions and how it's all integrated with the fabric of life and everybody else's story integrated especially those that in our that are in our soul groups and our pockets of co-creation and sometimes a person can can kind of have that on a global level and sometimes it's it's more regional or it's more it, it really kind of depends, and sometimes it's it's a bit of both for some people. Um, it just really depends on what your mission's supposed to be, and everybody ha- and everybody's piece is just as important. You have to think of it like a well, it is. It's a it, we 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 see creation and and the souls who are integral parts of moving uh consciousness to higher levels of connectedness as the pillars of creation so it's like a building that's what i was going to say it's like a building like a skyscraper um like imagine that I don't know what the name of it is, but I can't think of it right now. But it's the uh, the building in Abu Dhabi, the tallest building that just goes on and on and on. It's nearly three thousand feet tall, and just imagine that huge tower or sky. I don't even know what they call it. It's crazy tall. They, it looks down on on the clouds it's taller and it and a lot of other buildings there are taller than the clouds but it is the tallest looking down onto the clouds so it doesn't you can't even see earth (laughs) on the clouds when it's cloudy if you're up at the top so tall so imagine that type of structure not having a solid foundation and and a solid you know from in every single square inch of the construction of it not being um you know solid and on par it doesn't take it takes just a, a couple little weak spots for a whole building to fall down and that happens so uh, what is the the goal the agenda at this time is for you to understand that as 
a pillar of creation. And especially, this is where we're at. As we're getting into the 11 month, the 11 Stargate at uh, 12.22 here. Uh, we're going to be getting into our 1111 gate, which is the gate of the pillars of creation. We've got those four pillars there. Um, the real super intense connectedness with Mother, Father, God, uh, leveling us up, really getting us into the best alignment, what's best for, for us. And we've been working on this trajectory all year at 1223. So we're in process, we're in motion, we're going forward. And 1111 is, is for... being as in alignment as we can possibly be to be able to receive the codes and the activations for our spiritual body, our energetic body, and our physical body to release as much negative, dense energies as possible. So the leveling up downloads and encodements can come in because there, that's just the only way that it works. It's not oh, we wait for these specific days and that's going to take me, that's going to level me up on its own. And it's not. You'll just stay stagnant in your ascension because you're passive. You're not actively working with connection. And if you're not actively working with connection, which means meditating on a regular basis, if not every day, as close to every day as possible, really opening up psychically to your connections. This means doing certain types of meditation. And getting information that helps you to release negative energy. So then you can infuse with the infinite love light energy that comes through each of the stargates and power ascension days and then each of the different encodement activations that come through for the different reasons that they do. Uh, and sometimes they're back to back like they are now, like they were yesterday and today. Yesterday, it was very specifically for divine union. Um, it was for divine union encodements specifically yesterday, the 26th, whereas typically we have that happening on the 27th as well as uh, whatever else is going on that we're getting. It's not just about that. Now, this month, because we're getting into the 1111 portal, we had that. We had that yesterday on 1026, specifically for uh, divine union with, with yourself, your soul family, soulmates, twin, twin flames, twin souls. And... So if you were extra tired or extra wonky or spacey and couldn't quite, you know, just whatever, felt really out of it, this is why. We, uh, we're also having this happen in conjunction with 
uh, geomagnetic radiation being really high right now. And that's to amplify these encodements and then these are not coincidences like oh wow it's all happening at the same time what a coincidence no there's no coincidences it's happening because these encodements are, are coming through and our sun who is very much connected with us working with us is doing his part to send this energy to amplify to boost this intense energy and Gaia is amp is she is getting this boost not only from him but from within we're amplifying it back and forth it's extremely energetic so if you had a lot of like pricks and and like itchiness and just energetically um, uncomfortable I guess you could say in your sleep or trying to sleep or just sitting around whatever pricks and pringle like those types of like sharp pains uh, that's what that's about so FYI on that that was pretty intense yesterday and last night, way more than I felt in a long time. <laughs> um, so I didn't sleep very well and I was, I definitely got confirmation that this was a collective, a light body collective symptom and it's, it's ongoing. And so but no, I'm not saying that happened to every single person, but a lot of people will have felt this all day yesterday, tired, head kind of hurt, hungry, but not, not a whole lot of appetite, maybe weird appetite, maybe needing more carbs. Um, and then needing sleep, sleeping during the day if you could, and then having a hard time with being comfortable even at night because of this like weird physical sensation throughout your body with these like sharp energetic pricks and, and tingles and that sort of thing. And it's just because that the light body is activating and it's the physical body is reacting to it and it's literally electric. It's electricity that is reacting in the body. So it's good to try to actively transmute that energy as it's happening, get into meditation call in any archangels that you're com uh, comfortable with or Jesus to um, help with the transmutation of that energy. Anybody can help you with that. Um, so it really just is who is who you're feeling. So whether it's Jesus or Michael or myself, Gabriel or Raphael or, or Gaia to, or anyone, any of the archangels that you may be close to your own guardian angel can help you. Um, and you just have to ask to help your, to have them help you be more comfortable in your body to transmute the energy to give you the messages of what you need to do um help your body relax and accept the 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 changes that the evolution that it's going through this sort of thing whatever comes to mind it's not important but it's more the intent of what you're trying of what how you want to feel that you're you're asking for help with that and you will feel better so there's no need to suffer with these types of of feelings. I said I like I also didn't my cat was very active, so this was also a thing too. Some animals will be a lot more clingy, a lot more active. They may even be throwing up more. Um, that's happening right now a little bit. 
because they're also feeling these are intense energies that are hitting the entire planet it's not just some people some people are being activated in different ways or even triggered in different ways to get through this these encodements and either they're going to stick they're going to activate they're going to do their thing or they're not so um that is there is really no at this point you are where you are we're, we're heading into the 11th month these are really intense washings like it's like a shower of energy so this is a really intense time to shut to be showered energetically we're at the new moon this is to help us with new beginnings finding our purpose getting in alignment with other people and and then timelines that are going to advance our awareness and our uh, knowledge and gnosis when it comes to truths about ourselves about there's been a lot of you know fears keeping people from pushing through certain gateways certain we all go through these portals but either you, you, everybody individually makes their decisions that they're going to continue through in different ways on different trajectories and it's not for everybody to push through and or to just go to a certain degree or a certain level fears come into play a lot a lot a lot of fears come into play so we're at this point right now where anything that's going to be helpful for us to pay attention to now and deal with now and try to get into alignment with as as quickly as possible and now and heal and clear and do those things and pay attention whatever it is whatever those things are um our guidance our understanding I was just guided to today to post the quote from Jesus separation is out unity is in we are the event and that is from the full moon on the 19th of April um, but that had been talk, talk in talk before that but still there was a lot of talk about the event um and people just really hung up on this whole thing about disclosure and the event and and it came through very clearly that there is no event other than the great awakening that we're going through now in different stages and levels and across the different generations so it's a very interesting time all in in that regard um and we need to understand that to the best of our abilities we need to be in alignment with our own events <laughs> so participating in these meditations understanding your own truths being taken away where you're being taken and, and where you're being led to go to connect to receive all that good stuff so with that said we are going to be getting into the meditation 
at this time, I want you to make sure that your place, your space feels good to you as far as the lighting goes. If you have candles to light, you can light your candles, get your crystals, any that you're guided to have around you, with you. You can have them in a circle around you. <clears throat> You can be in a the cross-legged seated position. Or sitting on a chair. However you're most comfortable. And just start to feel into your body. You want to make sure that your hips are nice and flat and your seat and your pelvis, like your hips and your pelvis are in alignment. Your shoulders are above your hips. You're not leaning too far forward or too far back. So you're nice and straight in your seat. If your hair is up or pinned back in any way, please take your hair down. want to make sure that all that energy is nice and loose and in a lot of these meditations you'll feel the energy go all through your hair however long it is the longer it is the more you'll feel it obviously And just take a couple deep breaths for me. Get comfortable in your space. Close your eyes. We want to welcome in our divine soul tribe, one and all, all in one, and individually, our guides and guardians of the light, the high council. We want to welcome in all the divine realms that work with us, all the angelic realms, the Fae, both of land and sea. We want to uh, welcome in our divine dragons and our galactic counterparts. We want to connect also with, of course, Gaia herself. She says, here as witness and participant. So please take some nice deep breaths for me. Get into your body. Start feeling into the energies, welcoming in our divine counterparts, your personal guides and guardians, your spirit tribe. This includes the animal kingdom, the insect kingdom. <clears throat> so, It is now 1241 in the Pacific on 10, 27, 2019. It is the new moon. A 
officially we will be at 0% of new moon a little bit later on today, not until nearly 9 p.m. Pacific. However, currently we are at 2%. So very nearly all of our moon is dark and we are separated by that shadow and this is a a time to regroup a time to look forward a time to get this these pulses of energy as we begin a new phase just a few days before the new month So we are going to be thinking about and lighting up from within. We're going to be working with our chakras and be thinking about the whole next month up and through and past the 1111 gate. the full moon, the new moon, and so on and so forth. Each day, taking in, transmuting more energy as we go forward. Making a promise to ourselves to pay attention. To be guided, to prioritize, to connect. To continue to build our relationships with our guides. To be led, to have faith and trust in the process. To have patience. To allow for the energies to unfold. To be a witness. To be a co-creator to get out of our own ways, to clear and heal, to commit to ourselves, to not be in fear, to not make excuses. To not allow for chaos or drama to pull us from ourselves. that would be the dark working to keep us from ascending from being as empowered as strong as healthy as we can possibly be and because so much of how they work is so invisible even if it is horribly chaotic dramatic destructive We are still so brainwashed and conditioned to not see things for what they are. So it's easy to be confused and be lost in the drama instead of pulling back and seeing things for what they are. But we're just used to processing things this way. We have to allow ourselves to release the constructs of the brainwashing we have received since the day we were born. Being of life body is being somebody who's strong enough to see through the illusions once they're awoken, to continue to want to peel back the, light, the layers to see as clearly as possible, not through shadows and illusions, So we ask our great mother Gaia to hold us, carry us through so we can be strong in our knowing, in our knowledge, in our awareness, in our connectedness. 
so we can release fears. So we can forgive ourselves and others. So we can step into a new place in time for ourselves. Become something completely different than we have known. That is what is meant for us. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't evolve in these ways. And it starts with connecting our spirit, our mind, our hearts, our bodies, our energy. Getting them into alignment, getting them clear and in balance. Take a few more deep breaths for me. Start getting into our bodies now, getting nice and loose, energized, in flow, in balance. Think about our chakras, think about all of our vertebrae and our spine. Think about making it nice and straight and strong. Think about lighting up our root chakra. Just turning up that energy nice and bright. Feeling it light up, feeling it tingle, feeling it getting warm, making it bigger and bigger. And then feeling it shoot up energy all the way up to our spine, all the way up our spines to our necks, to our heads. Shooting up energy. Feel that hitting our pineal glands. This bright red energy straight to our pineal glands, directly from our root chakras. Feel it lighting up your entire head, getting tingly, getting active, and just feel this balance from your root chakra all the way to your third eye and then pinging all the way back down. Each time it goes up and down and up and down, charging more and more, getting more intense in brightness. Take a deep breath. We are here to receive activations we are turning on our light bodies to receive these light encodements these activations I am here to receive these activations. And we turn up our light bodies. We turn up the energy as we ping it from our root and see the light going all the way up and pinging to the top to our chakra, our third eye chakra, 
lighting it up there and then sending it back down, pinging it down at the bottom and then going up and down and up and down and up and down and up rhythmically up and down just turning on your entire spine as this light energy goes up and down and up and just visualize that feel it from the inside out and then place yourself outside of your body looking at you at you from just a few feet away and if you could see through your body what you would see what you would see your energy doing as you're consciously working with moving your energy getting it bigger each time it pings up and down lighting up your entire spine each one of your discs of your vertebrae will light up and light up and get brighter and brighter connected to all of the energy centers in each of the quadrants of your spine from root to sacral to solar to heart to throat to third eye radiating up to your crown chakra and washing down this energy creating this cocoon around you of your own energy as the energy pings up and down and up and down you feel your energetic body start to activate more deep breaths you'll feel your energetic wings start to tingle and activate right there at your shoulder blades so if they get really itchy you can scratch them that makes you feel better kind of move the energy around very consciously as this energy activates and getting more active some of you actually feel this extending out of your root chakra going down your energetic tail so the energy of your root chakra not being limited to just your body but expanding out moving out of your body imagine that energetic tail growing getting bigger really activating your root chakra can use your tail moving it around getting it down uh, onto the ground really uh, integrating it with the ground and just visualize your energy coming out of your root chakra all the way down creating this beautiful energetic tail and you can just push it right on through and connect with the energy of Gaia and this will create pulses and impulses and you'll start to feel even warmer in your energetic body and the energy going back up and continuing to ping from the bottom up and from the top down And feel the energy of your wings your entire back area your shoulder blade area all the way up into your neck feel all that energy just radiating out very very uh, fluid like very easy flow straight out of your back right out of your shoulder blade area your rhomboid area just feel your wings unfold and expand and again see yourself as a witness and look at yourself from the outside in and feel it from the inside out you can be in both of these places at once deep breaths and really feel into the energies take a look at yourself see any of the colors see the energy still continuing continuing to go from the bottom up 
and the top down, pinging back and forth, it's just getting brighter and brighter, lighting up your sacral chakra, that beautiful orange, getting bigger and brighter and brighter. The same with your solar plexus, getting bigger and brighter and brighter. And the green of your heart chakra, bigger and brighter and brighter. If you feel the need to sway because the energy is moving your energetic body in a certain way, please feel free to do this. Feel the energy moving and flowing, going up into your throat chakra, beautiful blue teal color, expanding, opening up. So picture this beautiful butterfly rising up from your root chakra, fluttering up and going straight up into the sky, into that blue throat chakra easily penetrating going all the way through losing any density in the throat area feels nice and soft and sweet nice and blue lighting up going higher into your third eye pineal gland lighting up that violet indigo color mixing with your crown chakra radiating out feel everything pulsing flowing radiating your entire spine is lit up your energetic tail is deep into the earth with Gaia receiving the pulses of Gaia as we receive the energies of our sun as our moon approaches its zero state we get into alignment with receiving the new codes downloads and activations that are coming in we are a pillar of light. We are a light body. We are here on mission. We are together, brothers and sisters of the light, standing in unity and harmony. Here in our physical state, we may have yet to know each other, may still be getting into alignment in different pockets and places and time with people. But in the astral, in our soul state, we are together, we are one. We are working together. We know each other already. Through each portal, power ascension day, stargate, full moon and new moon. Each eclipse, partial, full, solar or lunar. Each time we are actively engaging with these important times. We are able to integrate to receive. To remember. Nice big deep breath in through your nose. Hold it. And then push it out. 
again. And push it out. Releasing density, releasing negative energy. Being aware, intentional about receiving our information, our messages, about seeing things for what they are. Losing resistance, surrendering, being in acceptance of the truth, connecting to the truth, becoming more and more comfortable with stepping away from fear, being in a state of now and not needing to know what is coming next. Having faith and trust in the process and patience. I want to have you Imagine yourself in a big, beautiful field, a meadow underneath a very large weeping willow tree. And you're watching the vines way back and forth, the wind is going through, you can look up into the tree, it's a beautiful tree, nice and big, the sun is shining through, the grass is tall and green and soft. And you just look through the tree up into the sky. And as you do that, you can see the moon full and bright, high up in the sky, very, very big indeed. And quickly going through each of the days from full moon to new moon, right before your eyes, seeing the moon change, going from very bright to very dim. Having it go from light to dark with the sun. Yet you can see, even in the darkness, things light up in a way that is different than with the full moon. Illuminated from the inside out, the details of the meadow, of the tree, the ground and the grass, as you take it all in and step closer to the tree, to the trunk of the tree itself, and put your hands on the tree. Soaking in also the connectedness
to all the different places in time, this and every tree is a part of and connected to soaking in the strength and the wisdom Feeling that charge your body, your energetic body, your spiritual body. As you step away from the tree, you can run your hands and your fingers through the vines. Those long branches, beautiful, soft leaves from the weeping willow. Again, it is dark, but you can see. And you step further and further away from this tree. And you can see how very big it is. But you're drawn to walk away from it and go down the path, down this little hill. And as you walk further down, you can see the top of another tree. As this path winds around, as you go down, the hill you come to a place where it opens up and you see this time it is a giant oak tree big beautiful branches rising up into the sky pine cones on the ground Sorry, acorns, not pine cones. Acorns on the ground. All around. This beautiful tree representing strength. connectedness, this acorn, like your pineal gland. Opening up awareness, intuition, psychic abilities, knowledge, As we are taking in this big, beautiful tree and all of the acorns all around, feeling the charge of energy through and through, we further feel connected and charged, activated, connected to that energy, rising up and coming down. We can feel it all around us. We are activating, releasing, and coming into more awareness of our soul stories. Yeah.
gaining further access for ourselves from the Akashic Records. As we gather a few of these acorns and put them in our bag. Symbolizing the knowledge, the awareness, the wisdom that we've gained and also what we will come to acquire in the future. Again, we put our hands on this great tree connected to Gaia, feeling a different energy, soaking in, connecting to the oak. the energy that comes from a tree like this, strength. Connectedness. we can step away from the tree just take it all in everything's still lit up from the inside out feeling the energy the electricity from everything and your attention leads you further down the path. And you follow this path, noticing other trees and bushes, all the nature, all the greenery. Heal and clear your mind as you walk through. Any symbols, any visions that may come to you. Acknowledge it and continue on your way. And you start to hear water and it is water moving and the rush of water. And off to the right, you can see there is a clearing and a beautiful waterfall leading to a beautiful big pool. Again, it is dark, but everything is lit up from within electric you go towards this 
clearing this pool. You see the waterfall, how big it is. And you know you are exactly where you are meant to be. And as you stand there and look at this beautiful pool of water and the rushing water from the, the waterfall, the mist in the air and everything is lit up from the inside and electric. You see that you are not alone. There's more people coming into the clearing. You cannot see all of their faces, but you feel the energy of these people. It feels nice to have them there. And with each of these people you see, they bring energetic bodies with them. Each person has their own spirit tribe with them and you can see each other's the guides and the guardians that are with each and every one of you. And as more and more people and their tribes come into this clearing, it gets brighter and brighter. Energy all around this big bubble of love glow. The glow of light cascading all around from all of the light bodies and all of the light body spirit tribes that are with everybody. And as the water falls into the bottom, the pool, It is mist, the crystal from the water mixing with the light bodies, the guides, the guardians, each and every one of you. And it's like floating crystals everywhere. Everyone is guided to go into the water as it is getting brighter and brighter, lighting up from within, golden, crystalline water. Speckles of light refracting all around the crystals that are in the ground, lighting up, everything getting brighter and brighter as each and every one of you steps further and further into the water. You all form a line. And you witness your soul family, your brothers and sisters going into the waterfall. And 
It is lit up. Rainbow, coppery, golden light. And you are to walk through the waterfall. Let it cleanse you. Let it invigorate you. Let it heal you. Feel the love of everything that is connected to you in these moments that you receive. Be intentional about what you receive, that you may be guided further and deeper into your journey to heal and clear even more, to know how to do that, to be guided every single day. Let it wash over you as you go through the waterfall. Let go of sadness, anger, fear, resentment. shame, judgment of yourself, of others. Forgive yourself. Everything is a learning process. We are going to continue to learn and grow and evolve. You need to let go of resentment towards yourself and of others. Forgive past hurts and pains. Send love. You are love. Love is truly all there is. Hello, dear ones, this is Gaia. to thank you for being here with me today, for washing yourself in my beautiful waters. We are here to prepare you for the future, for a time of greater connectedness with yourself and with each other. The more healed you are, the more you can be in union with others. The less fear there is to separate you. We are heading towards a time where humanity will be less separated and more unified together, collectively working as a whole. It will take time, but it is beginning now. Thinking of the we, not the me. The journey of unity, connectedness. It is meant to be, and it will be, and you will always be a part of that. With me, each time you return, we are moving forward. You and I, all of us. 
family that has come from so far away in different times and places, connected. Coming here to work with me. I appreciate you all so much. Such a diverse group of souls coming together here. Again and again to work with me. To be a part of this family, to work to heal each other, to love each other, to create together. I am so grateful for you. I'm so in love with each and every one of you. It is a beautiful thing to witness so many of you recognizing yourselves and each other coming here being in these spaces with me as you shower yourself in this beautiful waterfall charging and clearing you preparing you For what is to come, more connectedness, more understanding, more healing and clearing of your own energy body and of mine. We are in this together. As we heal one, we heal all. As you heal yourself, you heal me. As you commit to further remembrances and awarenesses and wisdoms of your past, of your present and future, of what can come to you in various ways all of the time. So many, as you see big groups with you always here to give you guidance messages to give you support to help heal you to guide you to each other to help understand to unite to do the work for yourselves individually so you may come together and work as a family We are indeed entering a very exciting time. So much is on the horizon for so many of you. Each of you moving forward for yourselves, for each other, being led and guided to create the things that are so energetically important to you. Please do these things. It is all part of the process and the plan. Each of you having individual pieces of the whole, all connected, all important.
Again, dear ones, I want to thank you for being here. It is so good to connect with you. I hope to spend more time with you in the future. Please come to me, speak to me, spend time with me. You can do this in so many ways. Please listen to your guidance. Know that I have always known you and I always will. I always support you. I am always here for you. Thank you so for being here, dear ones. brothers and sisters this is your brother Jesus come to you today in hopes that you allow me to work with you and to guide you to deeper healing deeper awareness of yourself deeper remembering There is so much to connect to. And there is so much to get in the way of those connections. What we are here to do today is to activate you and clear your field to prepare you for a new place and time with yourself. In the spiritual plane there upon Gaia, physical changes, emotional changes, remembrances and awarenesses, doors unlocked. You still have to walk through. In order to do this, you need to see the doors to begin with. You need to hear the connections, the, the bells ringing, to know, to pay attention, to feel and receive. We come here today taking you through this process to help heal you and clear you, giving you the best way to move forward as this month comes to a close in these next few days it is important to think about where you've been where you come from what you've learned remember the fears that were a waste of energy 
any anger attaching to other people and situations and judgments upon yourself for your feelings and your reactions, anything of the nature. Also think of your great accomplishments and what you've been able to do, how far you've come, what you've overcome, what you've grown from just in this last year. What you've learned, what you've experienced, what you know about now that you didn't know about before. In just this one year, no matter what your age is. In just this one year, how different everything is in your life. Now, look forward and look ahead. Look to the future. As we go forward, we wish for you to be further and further integrated with the abundance matrix. And I have come to you speaking of this, this beautiful energetic grid that lives in and within Gaia and high above her. And much in the way we worked with your energy here in the beginning of this meditation, sending the energy up and down and all through your system is how the abundance matrix works. It is creational in energy. just as you are and it amplifies you and you amplify it and manifestations for everything of a higher vibration is able to take form and shape so much faster your thoughts and intentions are able to happen quicker the process of getting things done the feeling of time being not in your favor, however that may be, is able to move and bend. The further and deeper integrated you are with the abundance matrix. It is meant to be this way because it is creational and energy, as I said. And the magic of creation can ebb and flow in different spurts of speeds of time as is needed. Being able to work with time is very important and an integral part to creation. Looking forward, your intention is about connectedness and unity, divine union with your own body, your spirit, your soul, your spirit tribe that you can see all of you come with. bright in this space, no darkness because of all of the light that you all are and are connected to, coming together in this space to clear and heal, to prepare yourselves for the future. The future it's about receiving more, understanding more, being abundant in your life, in your world, and everything you are connected to in the highest possible frequencies that you can be in any given moment. Remembering who you are and why you are there. We are here with you, 
always. Think about where you've been, all that has changed, all that has evolved. How much more tapped in and in tune and aware you are, where you are in your spiritual journey and know that there is so much left to do, places to go understandings, remembrances, connections to be made. We want you to feel as supported, as safe, as secure in your purpose and mission in your life as you possibly can. The way to do this is for you to be guided, to be healed and cleared of densities. Unfortunately, our world runs on so much negativity. The energy, the energies that are attached to everything. Create either a barrier or a connection. We have been through a dark time for a very long time. A time where the influence of darkness, evil, dark energies and entities, things that are meant to hurt and harm have been in power, have ruled the ways of societies for such a long time. There is so much residual darkness energy throughout Gaia and the people. The people have been blind to this because it was designed this way to keep you from the knowledge of what it is that ails you, that keeps you sick or gets you sick now more than ever. So many more issues people have physically and mentally. Why is this? It is because there is so much negativity pushing the buttons and manipulating people into perpetuating and feeding more negativity. However, those of you, the light body, you are there to awaken, to change your charge and the charge of others from negative to positive and to ramp that frequency up 
to radiate it out, to spark others to do the same. Everybody individually is so important. The awareness of how things work and what keeps you from being as healthy as possible. Understanding and regulating this for yourself and each other is not so difficult, but it is not the way that the societies have been structured and programmed to work because unfortunately people who are well people who are free of illness of sickness from either the mental or the physical do not feed money into systems do not perpetuate negativity Therefore, the truths have been hidden. Slowly, these things will change more and more. And again, it starts with each and every one of you. Remembering, taking account, doing what needs to be done to bring yourself into alignment. This is how people understand by seeing and experiencing the stories of each other and how things work and why they haven't, what is important to discover right here upon Gaia about yourselves. About your bodies, your health, your spirit, your connections, what you truly are. We all come to you to work with you in these different ways to assist you in knowing and understanding and healing in so many ways. As this process is ongoing, never ending, it just continues with further, deeper understandings and awarenesses to get you to the next phase, and so on. Hopefully each of you will live a very, very long time. It is possible, even in the time period you are now, as your bodies change, as you become more and more activated, as you receive the encodements, integrate and understand and work with your energetic body and your physical body. If you take care of yourself, you absolutely can live a very, very long time. For all the work that you do to get to where you are. Of course, having you there in body for a very long time, as healthy as possible is best for everyone. 
we are going to be entering a time where people will be so very healthy. They will be able to live so much longer. This can begin now with you. You and your family. All you have to do, dear one, my beautiful brothers and sisters, so brave, so strong, All you have to do is release and receive. Choose to release as much negativity, densities, to take control, to do the deep spiritual lifelong healing to get to the root of why you have hurts and pains, why there is negative and negativity and negative entities possibly attached and why they are there and how to release them. As we have said before, this is the way that things are now. So many attachments to everybody, everybody needing to understand and slowly they will. So with that family, I would like to take you slowly out of the waterfall I will be here where you can come to me as you are exiting this beautiful pool Allow me to further heal you and clear you of negative energies, to loosen up densities in your field so you can heal, so you can have less attachment to the hurts and pains and judgments, the resentments you may see these things, release them. Your guides and guardians, the angelics are always with you to help guide any negative energy away from you. So as you exit the pool, as you feel invigorated, energized, by that beautiful water charged with infinite love, light, energy coming down from Mother, Father, God, charged from Gaia, Feeling it. Tingling through your system. 
take it all in. Let it radiate out. And as you bring yourself to the edge of the pool, you can see me. I am here to receive you. I have a towel for you. You can come to me and I will wrap you up in this beautiful, cozy towel and give you a hug. And you can release your burdens. More every day. Release and receive. Release the hurt, guilt, any shame and judgment for yourself. Receive love, pure love from all of us. As I hug you tightly, I hope you feel that through and through. You are a beautiful divine being of creation. You set out on a journey of exploration. Of healing, of loving, of living, of connecting, of magic. And we are all here with you. I love you so very much. Please accept all that we send to you to take you into a new place and time. Go and find your tree to sit under with your family. Lay down and be comfortable under the tree and let what comes to you come to you. Receive the infinite knowledge and awareness that you are tapped into, what is meant for you in this moment and any moment hereafter. I say goodbye to you now, my dear, beautiful family, my brothers and sisters of the light. Please remember that I am here with you always. Call upon me and any of us to assist you in any time All you need to do is ask, ask for help, ask for guidance, ask for the messages, ask to be cleared and to heal, and you will be guided on how and where to go and what to remember and how to connect. And you will know that you will.
I love you. Goodbye for now. Hey there, everybody. This is Infinity back with you, Archangel Gabriel. It was very beautiful to feel first Gaia and then Jesus. And it was very emotional. I'm just feeling so much of this beautiful love flowing the light, the energy, as I move my awareness around and witness so many different souls with their families, their spirit tribes lit up under each of their individual trees, connected with Gaia, receiving beautiful love light encodements from Mother, Father, God, aware of this place and space and time. It brings me such beautiful, great joy to be a part of it. And I thank you all for being here, each and every one of you. Whenever it is that you may do this beautiful practice, this connectedness, I want you to pay attention to where you are there with your family. Feel the light and the love. Still feel that beautiful soul hug from Jesus. Open yourself up to any remembrances, any symbols, any codes, anything. You don't need to force it, don't push it, but anything that may come to you. Any, anything at all that gets your attention. It's meant to be a message. You can check in, ask your guides. You're meant to get messages, to receive them, to look into them, to research them to acknowledge them. Messages are the small ways in which you are guided to move forward. And as we go on in our journey, more and more is to come. May we be as receptive as we possibly can. I ask you now to stay there in that space just let yourself receive. Anything that may come to you, take note, acknowledge it, and then promise yourself that you will pay attention to these things when you are out of meditation. and ask for further guidance. And then take a few deep breaths when you're ready to leave this place. Acknowledge your guides and guardians. Send your thanks and your love and your gratefulness and your blessings. And then slowly get back into your body, back into the place and space that you are. And then take the time to write down anything that may have come to you that is 
importance. And allow for the further integration during this time of the new moon and heading into a new month. And with that family, I say goodbye and thank you all for being here. Thank you for being here, for spending the time, for being dedicated, for doing this meditation, for listening to these messages, for making yourself and your soul and your mission a priority. I appreciate you and I love you infinitely. Infinite love and blessings. Don't forget, the key is to create. And I love you already.